deep in the rugged mountains of Georgia, a highway project unlike any other is taking shape. A staggering $500 million investment aims to cut travel time, enhance regional trade, and solve long-standing infrastructure issues. But beneath its promises of progress, this project has sparked intense debate. Some see it as a vital economic lifeline, while others fear the consequences of foreign influence, environmental damage, and cultural loss. This is the story of the Kavashedi Kobe Highway, a road that could redefine Georgia's future or threaten its identity. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe for more in-depth explorations of major global projects. Why is this highway being built? To fully grasp the importance of this ambitious highway project, we need to first understand the historic trade route it seeks to replace, the Georgian Military Road. For centuries, this ancient road has served as a vital passageway connecting Georgia and Russia. It has been a lifeline for merchants, armies, and empires. Running from Tbilisi, Georgia, to Vladikavkaz, Russia, cutting through breathtaking yet perilous mountainous landscapes. However, despite its historical significance, the Georgian military road has long suffered from serious limitations that make it unreliable in modern times. One of its biggest flaws is extreme weather conditions. During winter, heavy snowfall can completely block the route for weeks, cutting off entire communities from essential supplies and travel. Additionally, the road is highly prone to landslides and rockfalls, leading to frequent disruptions and dangerous driving conditions. These natural hazards not only cause long delays, but also pose significant safety risks for motorists. Another major issue is traffic congestion, particularly for large transport trucks. Since the road is narrow and winding, heavy vehicles struggle to navigate its treacherous turns. This results in massive bottlenecks, especially at the Russia-Georgia border, where long queues of cargo trucks often stretch for miles. Recognizing these challenges, the Georgian government, in partnership with international investors and construction firms, has initiated an ambitious infrastructure project, the Kvasheti Kobe Highway. This state-of-the-art roadway is designed to bypass hazardous sections of the old trade route, ensuring year-round connectivity and significantly improving trade and travel efficiency between Georgia and Russia. While this new highway promises enormous benefits, it has also sparked controversy. Not everyone is convinced that the project is entirely positive, raising concerns about economic dependency and foreign involvement. The engineering feats, tunnels, bridges, and cutting-edge technology. Building a modern highway through Georgia's. Rugged Caucasus Mountains is no easy feat. The region's steep slopes, deep valleys, and unpredictable weather make traditional road construction nearly impossible. As a result, engineers had to devise a highly advanced infrastructure plan, with almost half of the highway being built underground. The Kvashiti Kobe Road spans 23 kilometers, 14 miles, and includes six large bridges built over deep valleys and fast flowing rivers, five tunnels, each carefully designed to bypass dangerous mountain passes. Georgia's longest tunnel, stretching 9 kilometers, 5.6 miles, a record breaking achievement in the country's engineering history. One of the most impressive aspects of the project is the cutting-edge technology used in tunnel construction. The main excavation work for the record-setting tunnel was carried out using a massive 15-meter diameter tunnel boring machine, TBM, the largest single-shield TBM ever built for hard rock terrain. Manufactured by China Railway Tunnel Group, this powerful machine shattered speed records, digging at an astonishing rate of 426 meters per month. Engineers initially expected the excavation to take much longer, but the TBM's efficiency enabled them to complete the tunnel ahead of schedule, testament to modern tunneling technology. The highway's innovative engineering is not limited to its tunnels. The project also features some of Georgia's most advanced bridge designs, including a 432-meter-long arch bridge near the village of Zakatkari, featuring a 285-meter central span and soaring 51 meters above the ground. This structure is being built using the cantilever method, one of the most advanced bridge-building techniques in the world. Another 500-meter-long bridge at the southern end of the highway, crossing the White Aragvi River before leading directly into a tunnel. These architectural marvels demonstrate Georgia's commitment to modern infrastructure. However, while the engineering is undeniably impressive, the project's funding and foreign involvement have raised some serious concerns. Who really benefits? One of the most debated aspects of the Kavashedi-Kobe Highway is who is funding and building it, and why. 
a significant portion of the project is financed and constructed by Chinese companies, which has fueled fears about Georgia's growing economic dependence on foreign investments. This highway is part of a much larger global initiative, the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, launched by China in 2013. The BRI is a massive infrastructure strategy aimed at expanding China's trade and economic influence by investing in roads, railways, ports, and energy projects worldwide. Since its launch, China has signed over 200 Belt and Road Agreements with 150 countries, invested hundreds of billions of dollars into global infrastructure projects, gained substantial economic and political influence in numerous developing nations. Georgia's strategic location at the crossroads of Europe and Asia makes it an attractive partner for China. Over the past decade, Chinese firms have secured most of Georgia's major public infrastructure contracts, leading to concerns about over-reliance on foreign funding. Critics argue that while projects like the Kavashedi kobe Highway create jobs, improve connectivity, and boost the economy, they also increase Georgia's financial obligations to foreign lenders. Some experts warn of a potential debt trap, where countries accepting large-scale Chinese loans eventually struggle to repay their debts, leading to increased political and economic pressure from China. This concern is not unfounded. Other nations that have participated in the BRI have experienced similar challenges. For example, Sri Lanka was forced to hand over control of its Hambantota port to China on a 99-year lease after failing to repay its loans. Pakistan, a key BRI participant, is struggling with mounting debts due to heavy Chinese infrastructure investments. Djibouti, a small African nation, saw its debt-to-GDP ratio soar to over 70% after signing multiple infrastructure agreements with China. Could Georgia face a similar fate? Supporters of the highway argue that careful financial planning and stronger domestic regulations can help mitigate economic risks. However, skeptics worry that Georgia's growing dependence on Chinese investment could lead to long-term political consequences, potentially influencing the nation's foreign policy and strategic decisions. Problems with Chinese infrastructure projects China has become a dominant player in global infrastructure development, funding and constructing highways, railways, bridges, and energy projects in dozens of countries. While its ability to deliver projects quickly and at relatively low costs is often praised, there are growing concerns about the long-term consequences of these developments. Critics point to safety issues, labor rights violations, environmental degradation, and debt dependency as major risks associated with Chinese-led infrastructure projects. In Georgia, one such project, the Kvashedi Kobe Highway, is currently under construction. It aims to improve connectivity between remote mountainous regions and boost economic activity. However, many locals and experts fear that it could come with significant hidden costs. Examining past Chinese-led projects can offer valuable insights into what might unfold in Georgia. One such example is the East-West Highway, another major road project in Georgia that involved Chinese contractors. While the highway was intended to improve transportation and trade, it faced multiple challenges that raised red flags for future infrastructure projects in the country. Some of the most pressing issues included poor planning and risk assessment. Sections of the highway, particularly those prone to landslides, were not adequately reinforced, leading to dangerous collapses. Exploitation of workers, laborers reported, being underpaid and subjected to harsh working conditions, sparking protests and public outcry. Lack safety standards. Several fatal accidents occurred due to insufficient oversight, further fueling concerns about construction quality and worker protection. While the Kvesheti Kobe Highway has not yet experienced these specific problems, skepticism remains high. Many are questioning whether this project will genuinely serve Georgia's long term economic interests or whether it will primarily benefit foreign contractors and investors. Environmental and cultural concerns. Beyond the financial and labor-related challenges, the Kvesheti Kobe Highway is also stirring debates over its impact on Georgia's natural and cultural heritage. The highway will cut directly through the Pada Valley, an area of immense historical and ecological significance. This picturesque valley is home to ancient watchtowers, breathtaking gorges, and settlements that date back to Neolithic times. Historians consider it one of Georgia's most treasured landscapes. Environmentalists and cultural preservationists have voiced several concerns about the highway's construction. Destruction of historical landmarks. 
the excavation and road work. The damage ancient stone towers and structures that have stood for centuries, permanently altering the valley's unique character, harm to local ecosystems. The valley is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including endangered species. Disrupting their natural habitat could lead to population decline and ecosystem imbalance increased risk of landslides and erosion. Large-scale excavation in mountainous areas can weaken slopes, making the region more prone to landslides. In the long run, this could pose a danger to both the road and nearby communities. While some locals see the highway as a gateway to economic opportunities, offering better access to markets, jobs, and tourism, Others fear it will transform their home beyond recognition. For centuries, the Kata Valley has remained largely untouched by modern development. Many wonder whether the benefits of the highway outweigh the irreversible damage it might cause. What happens when the highway is completed? Despite these concerns, the economic benefits of the Kvashidi Kobe Highway are undeniable. Once completed, it is expected to be a game changer for transportation in Georgia significantly improving connectivity and efficiency. Key anticipated benefits include drastically. Reduced travel time. The current journey between Kavasheti and Kobe takes about an hour. The new highway will cut this down to just 15 minutes, making travel quicker and more convenient for commuters and businesses alike. Enhanced trade and logistics. By allowing faster and more efficient transportation of goods, the highway will boost trade both within Georgia and with neighboring countries. Trucks and cargo transport will move more swiftly, benefiting industries reliant on smooth supply chains. Year-round accessibility. Many regions in the mountains are cut off during the harsh winter months, isolating residents from essential services. This highway will provide consistent access to healthcare, education, and commerce, improving the quality of life for thousands of people. Expansion of rural connectivity. In addition to the main highway, the project includes five kilometers of additional rural roads, making nearby villages more accessible and opening new opportunities for small businesses, agriculture, and tourism. For commuters, transport companies, and local businesses, these improvements could lead to significant economic growth. However, the pressing question remains, will these benefits outweigh the long-term social and environmental costs? The Kavashetti Kobe Highway Project highlights a broader dilemma that many countries face, how to balance economic progress with environmental and cultural preservation. On one hand, Georgia needs modern infrastructure to remain competitive in the global economy. Improved roads, bridges, and highways can boost trade, attract investment, and improve the daily lives of citizens. On the other hand, the rush for modernization should not come at the expense of a country's historical and natural heritage. If infrastructure projects are not planned carefully, they can lead to irreversible damage, displacing communities, harming ecosystems, and increasing foreign dependency. This leads to some important questions. Will the benefits of the Kvesheti Kobe Highway justify the environmental and cultural costs? Is the project truly designed to serve Georgia's long-term interests, or is it primarily driven by foreign investment motives? Could alternative routes or better planning have reduced the negative impact while still delivering economic benefits? Only time will tell how history will judge this ambitious project. It could become a symbol of Georgia's growth and modernization, or it might be remembered as a costly gamble that prioritized short-term gains over long-term sustainability. What are your thoughts? Should Georgia embrace large-scale foreign infrastructure projects despite the potential risks? Or should it proceed with more caution? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this deep dive insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the world's most ambitious projects. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.